Right guys, hope everyone's well. We're up over the Pender Hills doing some cooking and as Long Trail gonna take us past streams, forests, we're gonna have a chat, uh, make some sort of arrangement for people to come out with us. So let us know if you wanna come out walking with us. Chris is here, we're gonna have a talk about what Chris does. Hey guys, you're okay? Yeah, so we're just uh, at Pendle today. So we're gonna be doing a bit of cooking like Mick said. And uh, just the benefits of being outside really. Uh, how good it is for you to get out within nature. Um, it's just, it's a brilliant day today. Brilliant. The weather's fantastic. It's good to be out. It is lovely. Beautiful day. Show you around. So, this direction we're heading up there. This is a little area we're going to invite anybody who wants to come out walking with us to start off with. And then there is other tracks and trails. Awesome. We'll get going. So yeah, we've just been talking about uh, making a compass. If you magnetise a needle, you know, you stroll that needle with a knife so many times and then you put it on a little puddle or float it on a leaf and it'll spin round and point north. That's a good way of doing it. Also, if you watch, you know, like we said before on the channel, if you have a watch with your fingers on, point your little finger in the direction of the sun in between that little finger and the 12 will be due south. You've got due south and you obviously you've got north, east and west. But people don't know sometimes. That's it, yeah. Sometimes yeah. people don't know, yeah. some, some people will it's not. It's just interesting. Isn't Little it? bits it's of him. Uh, interesting information. Information like that could, you know, you know, it could save a life. Give you little just bits of information. Handy, little, handy tips to, uh, to have. Little tips to know. Just come across this uh, little spot here, guys, and uh, yeah, you've just got, got a little river running through. Just spotted this. It is uh, a really nice little area, this. Yeah, I remember we mentioned this before where this tree had come down. I actually sat here the day. I think it was the day before it came down. There were storms that night. I come over two days later and this tree crashed down. Gotta be careful, you never know. Beautiful now though. Yeah, one or two tadpoles left. Did a video here and they were also full, full of frog spawn. As time goes on, you know, you've got your birds and... and uh, Slowly they disappear, but that's nature. That's why frogs lay so much frog spawn yeah. because there's only a tiny percent will survive it. So this will be a little area, about an hour's walk. We were saying, weren't we, Chris? Yeah. Just around yeah, this. This is, this is going to be the area that we're going to be coming on. We've probably yeah. seen this on the channel a few times. I've gone around there. Lots of deer around here as well, but like we always say, they see you, they smell you, they're off. But it's a beautiful little area which takes you through these trees down to a stream and it's nothing too strenuous, it's pretty flat I think the first time you've been here Chris and you it found is, yeah, it this is a, quite, this time I've been quite flat this on this trail. particular trail but it's uh, really really good and you, you very rarely see anybody, it's a very quiet area now it's a cool wild camping area, really, because you don't see anybody around here. And this time of year when the leaves have just come out, it's all green, so vibrant colours. It's a great time, isn't it, mate? Lovely. Everything's like really lush, isn't it, the green or the grass? It's beautiful, it really the is. Trees. Yeah. So yeah, so we're in this area where we're going to Arrange a walk for the first time, but some people can't walk miles and uh, we'll do other walks, further walks, yeah, yeah. different That's routes and what have you. Beautiful yeah. little area. I've been working a lot recently. Chris is uh, moving house, also working full time. So we've been, we've been a bit busy, haven't we? We've been busy. We've been we wanted busy to get out walking with people in May, we said, didn't we? But and now we're going to weigh down Wales in a couple of weeks. So we're going to push it back till June, second half of June. We're thinking it's Saturday. We'll update a dead. A date, won't we? A dead yeah, on date. Yeah, a bit nearer, nearer the bit time. A bit nearer time, so but we're second, making arrangement now. It's yeah, second, sort of, probably, second, half probably of second, second half of we'll, uh, June. We're going to get yeah. people out. So if you're interested, let us know. We're still going out. And uh, not just once, we want to go out many times, different areas, different walks. Yeah. Just we work and Chris is moving out, so we have had to push it back a month, but we'll get there. But what we'll do is we'll we'll put it on Facebook, uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll announce it. So we're going to do some video footage today of the area, so you get an idea of whereabouts, um, you know, you're going to be coming on your walk. And uh, yeah, just give you a bit of an idea, really, guys. But it's, uh, 
it's going to be good, isn't it? It's, it's going to be good to get out. Let me look at it. Uh, this particular walk here is about an hour's walk, so we'll do this. We'll do longer walks. All depends who turns up and what their abilities are. Yeah. If we get a couple, right. you know, people turning up and they can walk a lot further, then we'll go further. If there's one or two, we might not be able to walk that far. Yeah, that's so it. That's good. So. Yeah, I was just uh, just saying to Mick then, um, it's what we're doing now, we're just collecting a bit of wood, we're going to make a fire, we're going to cook something up in a bit. It's just good to slow down and just while we're doing this, uh, while you're collecting wood, you're just focusing basically on just on one thing, which is really good. You're out in nature, you're focusing on one thing uh, and it takes your mind off a lot of stuff in your, li in your life, you know, stuff that might be, you, you might be feeling stressed about. So it's good to, uh, stuff like this, you know, we're collecting wood and uh, we're gonna make uh, a bit of food later, make a fire. So it's all, all these are sort of mindful techniques as well, um, that when you come on the walks, we'll do a bit of this sort of stuff, you know, and uh, it really, it really is helpful. Right, sorry Chris. Quite yeah, quite a bit, we're just gonna, quite dry yeah, wood, good dry yeah. wood, we're gonna collect a bit of wood, because where we wanna do our little bit of cooking, we're next to the river, uh, it's, well, it's, I call it a river, it's a stream really, but there's no wood around there, so. Yeah, so uh, yeah, a lot of adder around here, like I was saying, you've got to be careful, especially this bracken fern, they're like hiding in there. I've seen two or three myself, as you're walking along, you see this long tail disappearing into the undergrowth. They're not poisonous, but they do to give a nasty bite, nasty bite, and you can uh, have an allergic reaction to them, you know. The other thing Chris will do on when we we'll go out is like shelter making. I like doing that, using... Uh, sticks and twigs and things to make a shelter because when you're out like i did before i were out once and this blizzard come on you get wet through that could be dangerous and then maybe sell a bit of a shelter get dry so we'll do that so lovely spots yeah so i'll just send to chris this one path you can take you can cut across the drop down next to the stream and walk the whole stream round or you can do this one is a forest, well, a bit of a forest, a bit of a yeah. woodland, but still end up at the stream. All very nice spots. So yeah, so this is pretty much it, lovely little woodland, quite new trees, and then you, you go down to the stream and you end up down at the reservoir, and I was walk right around. So we're not going to walk right around it because we're going up the hill today and down to a larger stream where we're going to do some cooking, but I just wanted to show yeah, Chris. Yeah, that's it, it's a good this spot, area. this isn't it? Yeah, really, but, uh, really good good area and it's like you say it's not too strenuous either is it mate? no not, not strenuous at all. it's also would so, you know i mean did you know about this see a lot of people don't know no no you think no. of pender hill is the moorland like i say the what i've done is the main route over uh, over pender hill and uh, this route is is great yeah. it's just nice and quiet so it's ideal uh, to bring people out um you know a bit of mindfulness walking um you know show you through breathing techniques as well so that's what we're going to be doing guys out on the on the walk as well um, probably do a little bit of cooking as well, Mick. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, certainly. Some cooking when we're out, have a chat about anything to do with what Chris is, does with his page, what I do with my channel. Uh, we're going to head up these hills, over the mirror, back down into a similar sort of terrain, into this, I call it the giant woods. But we're going to do some cooking by the stream before we get there. Lovely area. But the link to Chris's page, Serenity Master, will be in the description. Yeah, we'll put and, everything uh, on there, guys. All right, all the information, um, and also um, we'll get uh, the date on there soon as well. Looking towards end of June. Looking aren't towards we? end of June. Yeah. Like I said, we've been a bit hectic with one thing or another, and we pushed it back. We wanted to do it, May, but I'm going away working. Chris is moving else. Everything's going on. But we're, we're going to end second half of June. We're going to get it done. But we'll update to dead date near it. Time. Yeah, we'll get it on. Get it on yeah. there, won't we, Mick? Yeah. And then uh, let, let exactly. you know. So. Let you know. I say it gives you a bit of a gives you a bit of an idea, guys, of the area that um, where you know you're going to be coming on on the walk, yeah. and it is a, it's a fantastic area. Yeah, it's this. brilliant. It's it brilliant. really is. Yeah. So you've got everything going on. Haven't you? You've yeah. got you know you've got the woodland, you've got um, you've got the stream as well. Oh um, yeah, it's 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 yeah. all brilliant. It's a brilliant area. Yeah. This. So a range of dates dead on, but also some randomly we might decide we're going to go for a walk this evening. We'll put on our pages. We'll come up, anybody wants to join us, we'll be there at a yeah. certain time with the car park. Just come up sometime yeah. random. All the all ones will be That's it, yeah. So, brilliant. Right, so we'll get going. So we'll head off now, yeah. We'll, we'll, we're a little way into it now. A few miles into it. We're gonna drop down these hills next to the stream, along the stream, 
to the giant woods. Chris, are you enjoying it? Oh, what? Yeah, it's amazing. The views are just awesome up here. They are really fantastic. It is just good to be out. Brilliant. I'm getting hungry. It's nothing new there. I eat a lot. Chris doesn't <laughs> eat as much. He's not hungry yet. But uh, we're going to do some cooking. All right, we'll get good. So Chris was just saying this particular walk variation you've got, you've got some woodland, streams, and move along. You've got, you've got everything going on here. You have. It's just so much more interesting than just walking along moorland. You know, you've got your rivers, you've got your woodland. And obviously you've got stuff like what you can see in front of us now. Yeah, so you know, that's where we're rock, heading. You've got yeah. rock faces. Exactly. We head over there, down to more stream. More forest, woodland, uh, giant woods I call. Absolutely awesome. You get, like I said in the last video, a lot of people think it's brown moorland in Northern England over yeah, the Pennines. Right. And... But there's so much, isn't there? So much to look at. You could literally be in the Lake District where we are, guys. And it's right on the doorstep as well, which is good. You've not got far to travel, which is always a bonus, isn't it, Mick? Definitely a bonus, a big bonus that you haven't got far to travel. So we're gonna have something to eat down here. Chris is over there doing his video. I'll do my video. Down here next is river stream. Something to eat. Follow this stream along the giant woods. Beautiful. Sun's out, it's a bit hazy. It's supposed to cloud over later, but it's beautiful. So there we go, Chris is off, eager to get cooking. It's been quite steep this bit, there's another track down here, it's a lot steeper and a lot shorter, but I tend to end up on my ass when I do that one, so. so. There we go, a lot clearer this river, when I were at this stream last time it was quite silty, it rained out. Oh right, yeah, all the silt up. silt down, yeah. But that's so beautiful now, lovely and clear. Clear, clear that isn't it yeah but it fill as it as it comes down it's going to fil filter it all through it isn't it fills you know? it through yeah a lot clearer There you go, Chris. Like I said, if you fall, I've got you on camera. No problem. I'm ready. I'm ready. There we go, mate. See, it's disappointing, aren't you? No. <laughs> I would say beautiful, stunning, epic. What words do you use? You know, a little bit cloudy in a minute, but it's beautiful. Who cares? What more could you ask for, eh, mate? Yeah. What more could you ask for than this? Yeah, so here I've got my only cool cooking area, my only cool beach. Yeah, yeah. There we are, let's just shove it sort of in the. It's very wet, generally, but you've got to be on the safe side when you're in. I've got colours on, though. Yeah. You've got to be on the safe side, don't you? And you very rarely see anyone passing this area. We're nearly there now, Mick, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Getting it on. Salt, pepper, and guys, get the lid off that because we want lots of garlic. There we go. Mediterranean. Veg there as well. No, brilliant. Be ready. We've got the tins in the fridge in the stream. 
Chris has got his Mediterranean veg there in his pan, brilliant. I think they're brilliant these for Those cooking in. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people just for eating out of, but yeah. frying pan stuff goes everywhere. You know, like, just you, and the, the charcoal. Yeah. So I've got my steak, tomato, mushrooms. Right. Where am I putting them, mate? I don't want to know all the. Take yeah, over just, it. yeah, just put them on that, Anywhere on that edge there, the if edge you want, mate. Yeah, yeah. I might just let that boot. You're going to let that flame go down just a bit, a bit first. Just a bit. Right. That should be all right. Steak, mushroom, tomato, kebabs, Mediterranean vegetables and veggie burger, they're brilliant. I sample this. Yeah, spot on. That eats the mark. Definitely. Wayne right, lovely. Beer tastes so much better outside as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm on... Um, I'm on... Hazy Jane, a blue dog, Hazy Jane. For any, anybody that's, uh, it's, that's not tried this, it's uh, I, IPA. It is really, really good. Um, it's got a bit of a sort of a citrusy um, flavour to it, but it is really nice. Well, there we go. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to get some of them. I've had them before. Uh, yeah, they're nice. They are nice, IPAs. aren't they? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. 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 So we could be, uh, we could be quite like strong percentage wise, something like six point six point nine. But they're just nice, just just have even just one or one or two. We need one or two when you're chilling in daytime. Yeah. I'll get some of them when they go yeah. doing the Pembrokeshire walk. Definitely, yeah, yeah, I, like, I do like them. And you can get them in uh, mini miniature size as well. You yeah. know, the smaller smaller cans yeah, as well. Yeah, of course. Um, just a bit easier sometimes to carry around yeah. with you as well. Yeah. But I like say it doesn't matter what age you are either, right? Does it make it doesn't matter what age you are, you can get out guys, you know, even if you you know older, it doesn't matter what age, you can still get out, you can still do stuff like this. Any age you can get out, yeah. It any doesn't matter. Stay. It's the same with anything though, like anything. Yeah, you can start at any age, age. it's just a number, right. isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. I'll see it get some wood under it. That'll do it. I'll heat them veggies up. Yeah, it's all looking pretty ready is that maybe your veggies need a little longer but looking good. Do you have a taste of that mate? I'm not gonna say no, I'll have a little have a taste taster. Of what you think, see what you think of it. Yeah. Nice aren't they? You like that, yeah? yeah? I like them. I do like them. I do. It's just so strong I thought we'd be driving. Yeah. No, otherwise I would have got a couple of them. Well, uh, we're coming in Chris's car next time and I'm going to have yeah, a drink. Yeah, I'll, I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be alright if we come camping, mate. Oh, brilliant. We yeah. can have what we want then, can't yeah. we? Yeah. We can have what we want. While camping, we can, we're out. Yeah. While camping, a few beers. So everything's done. Chris, buy the veg. Yeah. Mind you, it's been on the edge though, haven't it? Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, yeah, we've had we've had uh, we've had stuff over the, over the flames, haven't we? Really? I actually got some tomato sauce ready to bring with me, mate. I put it in the fridge, and do you know what? I forgot it. You forgot it. Yeah. 
fault. We don't worry about it. We don't worry. So I said to Chris, he can have some of this if he wants. He said, you eat what you want, mate, and I'll have what you left over. But I will say that to me, hey, Chris? Yeah. No, he'll eat it all. No, no, no. <laughs> mmm. Very nice. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Is that good? Yeah, really good, that. Love that. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, mate. Cheers, brother. Right guys, yeah, we've just uh, we just had something to eat. We're gonna head off now down to uh, a forest that's nearby. We just had a fire going now, guys. So uh, I'm just gonna literally just put it out. Just make sure it's safe. Um, leave it as we found it. That's important. If you are having fires and you're cooking outside, just leave it as you find it. Um, you know, and then there's no risk of you starting any fires. Nice now, anyway, so, so coming through. Yeah, it's lovely. Brings out all the colours when the sun comes out, doesn't yeah, it? Really yeah, does. it does, yeah. It's nice. I'm just going to love it. Chris is doing his video for his page. I'll let him do his video. And kebab steak, some more to mushroom, that's a little lovely. Couldn't hit the lot, I've got some in my back, I'll have it after. I'm going to have a look up these forests, these giant tree roots, I'm going to show Chris. Yeah, so there's little things like this, because it's Pendle Witch area, uh, Pendle Hill. Uh, you haven't seen this before, Chris, have you? No, this is the first mm -hmm. time I've seen this. It is. Just yeah. in the middle of nowhere. It's, 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 it is new to me, this. Oh, and, amazing. Uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Pendle Witch is 6 in 12. They were only lawless area we were at the time. Amazing. That's a lawless area. History. It's fascinating. So I was just saying to Chris how it makes you feel once you get back and it, you know, you reflect on the day and there's reasons for that. In the yeah, of course there is. Yeah, the yeah, def definitely. Just uh, you just feel so much better when you've been been out and you've been out walking. You've been in within nature. Um, you know, if you stop, you slow down. You take notice of what the things that are around you. Um, it can really help um, with sort of you know if you you might be experiencing some stress in your lives. It's great to get out there. Uh, I've just been saying to Mick that. Also, when you're out walking, it increases the dopamine levels, your serotonin levels, which is good. That's what you make, it makes you feel really good. It's sort of happy chemicals in your body. And you just like, you get back after a, a day out walking uh, and you feel so good within yourself. And that's what it's all about, guys. It's about feeling good within yourself. And if you can do stuff in your life that makes you feel that way and makes you feel happy, because um, there's times where the stress can get to you and you can feel, you know, be feeling down, demotivated and if you can do stuff like this, um, yeah, it just Brilliant. makes such a massive difference and that's what, you know, me and Mick, we're going to be doing, we're going to be bringing people out walking and giving them the chance to get out within nature and to experience it. Um, it is, it is so good for you, 
Exactly, that's what we're building. The cold monument down there for the pedal, which is, I've put this on the channel before. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll have a look down there, open to them woods, show you them big root balls of these trees and what have come down. The and views uh, are just it's amazing. awesome, so quiet. aren't they, mate? The views are I mean, absolutely amazing in this area that we're in. It's lovely. You get yeah. up there, you can see Pendle Hill as well, and we'll get down. Oh yeah, you've got Pendle Hill. Stunning. Big trees. There is a steel wall, but the big root balls. I'm gonna get Chris to stand up near them, give him some scale. Beautiful. How was that, Chris? <laughs> That's a climb. It is a climb up there, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's the biggest one there, isn't it? Rage up to it. Further back. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah. I'm not setting you up here forever. Yeah, yeah. Kiss eyes are, yeah. Further back. Hey. A bit closer. A bit closer. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Brilliant. So I've never noticed. Oh, I know if I've always nearly fallen. There we go. Yeah, more of it. Crazy. There's a camping place, isn't there? Yeah. In that'd between be, that. That'd be a good spot, that mate. Wouldn't it? That's a perfectly cool wild camping spot. Yeah. So, Chris was just saying it's a bit wet, a bit too wet to set up a tent there, maybe. Maybe through summer it'll dry out. It's uh, not really flat enough though, is it? No, really. No. I'm thinking at top it might be, but. Hmm. Nice slick allow to might get be, something. Uh, another area a bit further up, mate. We'll yeah, yeah, fine. yeah, we will do. It's a bit, a bit flatter. We'll get some cook, you yeah. could cook in there, that'd be good. Nice little cook. It's a good spot though. Spot for cooking, yeah. brilliant. So, absolutely awesome, it's been great. Good cook up, we enjoyed. Yeah, we've had a good day today, we make a brilliant, absolutely brilliant. A nice dinner, so, a nice walk, so we're gonna put some dates on for it was the of channel June. and Chris's page. End, end of June. End of June. Yeah, yeah. We've had a lot on and going away. We'll, we'll get it done, end of June. We're gonna head back now, what we enjoy. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment, always reply. The link to Chris's channel will be in the description. Serenity Master, lots more coming up on Chris's page. Yeah, so definitely. Brilliant. Yeah. All right, thanks All right, for watching. Guys, thanks for watching. See you Speak later. Speak soon, and also see you soon.